Taste This is brought to you by IRG. After brainstorming and thinking, one day he comes home and he tells me, Aisan, I know what we are going to make. We are going to make cuckoos. And I look at him and I was like, who is going to make these cuckoos? <laughs> and he said, you. I was like, I have no idea how to make a cuckoo. Go and find somebody. <laughs> So the company is called Oina Natural Foods. Oina in Azeri language, which our parents are coming from, means to dance. It is officially illegal to dance in Iran, but there are a lot of underground dance studios and a lot of people teaching. For me, as somebody that has studied dance outside of Iran, I was more riskier than a person who is doing underground dance, and it was putting me into risk. So I felt like I go and I do my masters and maybe it's gonna change. You know, you come first day, it's, everything is beautiful and amazing and then after six months, it's not like that anymore. And then reality comes and your family is back and your identity is under challenge and, and you gotta live with the bored Persian in America and it's complicated. It took us a year and a half to come to this decision that we are gonna stay for a while, so let's plan for the future, for having a family here, and you know, well, let's see what we are gonna do with business and stuff like that. When he came here, he started working with a friend uh, that had a food business. He started thinking, okay, maybe food is one option that we can start a food business. Cuckoo is a staple of Persian table. It's served in Persian New Year. It's packed with herbs and vegetables. The traditional one is called sabzi. Sabzi means herbs in Farsi. We also call it green herb cuckoo here. Kind of similar to quiche or frittata, but it's mainly herbs and vegetables. It's over 70%, 80% herbs. For four months, I think, I was just making cuckoo, like baking, 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 and then when I finished, I was like, I feel like it needs the spices. So after really just practicing making the cuckoos, I came up with a recipe. And the first day we went to the farmer's market, I never sold my food to anybody. So first time I went, honestly, I was so nervous, like how people are gonna react to this food. But then we sold out in two hours. We were like, maybe because the ban just started on Iranians, I was like, Mehdi, people are feeling so bad on us and they're buying our cuckoos. <laughs> I think because, it's because of that, they're just too nice to us. It, second, we, a second weekend, we sold out. Third weekend, we sold out. Fourth weekend, we were like, we are doing it. Yeah, it's this some, is, we have, this is, we have something. It's not yeah. because of the bands. So La Cocina has this production facility in San Francisco in Mission Area. We produce there. La Cocina is great. They are increasing the chance of us making this business work. We believe the cuckoo is the next hummus and we want to have this all over the country, in the supermarkets, in the stores, in the coffee shops. I think the acceptance matters, you know, because we started this and so many people are like, what is this? It's great. That's encouraging for us. And for sure, for us being able to have this business, promote our culture, give another meaning to Persian, it's positive. So, and we are here and grateful and thankful.